Right, that's my um, metal toolbox um, made by uh, Brittle, or I don't think they actually make them, I think they just put their badge on them, but anyway. Um, and I've probably had this uh, ooh, 94, maybe 95, so it's 18 years old. Um, and it looks um, 18 years old as well when you really start um, looking around. Um, it's had um, metal fatigue here, it's been welded up once, and then I've brazed it up the second time, and it's now cracked again. Um, the same on the other side. Um, the bottom is completely gone, that's been welded up, or I attempted to weld that up. Um, had an arc weld at the time, this metal is a bit thin for arc welding, um, if you can weld, and I can't weld, so <laughs> that counts for that. Um, and as you can see, that corner there is completely broken away. Um, the original catches have broke, and I've got these stainless steel ones on there. Um, the original handle was plastic, and I picked it out of the uh, van one day, and it just sheared off at one end, and, and I dropped it on my foot. Um, I was lucky I had uh, steel toe caps on because it, it, it didn't hurt me foot at all. But um, it put a twist in this, and um, you, you know you couldn't open the drawers or anything. And uh, I tried and tried to straighten it out, and in the end I hit upon the idea of just dropping it again on a flat piece of the ground, and it uh, straightened itself out again. Um, if we, uh, you know, it's quite heavy. I can only just about pick the thing up. I think it's about 25 kilos, about 50 pounds. Tip that up, you get an idea of how um, tired the underneath of it is. Um, that hole there is rusted out from the inside. Um, one of the problems we're doing a lot of farm work is if is you put the thing down in the dairy and they've got water running over the floor or even chemical water from the washing out of the machinery, it runs through your toolbox and uh, rusts it out. So, I do plan to. Uh, have a go at fixing it up at some point in the future. Um, and that is a um, apparently a traditional Buddhist um, blessing which you'd normally put over your door to your house and it's I'm not sure what it's supposed to do whether it blesses everyone that walks under it or one of them sort of things so I thought well that can go on there and it can bless all my tools. Um, right. The, the top of it, which is this is quite tidy, believe it or not. I'll give it a tidy out the other day. Um, you can see that hinge there is sheared off, and the weld's given up there. Um, right, so what have we got in here? Well, got a couple of, that was a uh, a little bottle of um, some sort of drink in it, a vodka or something, I think one Christmas, in the shape of a little fridge. And that amused me to keep all my um, quick couplers and um, core removers in there. Uh, I've got a couple of tobacco tins in there as well, with various fittings. Lining it with cardboard, it just stops them rattling around too much. Get on the tin underneath. Um, this one is mainly screwdrivers and electrical tools, um, nut drivers and things, um, Allen keys, um, got stubby screwdrivers, it's just stubby here, yeah, and um, small spanners to keep in here. Spanners and things in the bottom, that screwdriver doesn't go anywhere. Um, that there is where I've had to beef the back of the drawer up. That's the joiner for cable tray. Um, it's when I, when I the drawers tend to sag and then the catch doesn't catch that, that locks them in when you shut the lid down. Um, well, maybe I'll get a few of these things out and then we can go through them.
Right, um, I've got a set of um, brittle um, adjustable spanners um, from that's a 12. I've got two 10 inch ones because I, I lost one working at a police station and then I found it again there about a month later so I've got a spare so I've got two of those and then uh, I've got a, an 8 and a 6 um, these are all the dark um, phosphate um, the black ones not other, rather than the chrome um, something to be aware of if you buy the chrome ones the threads are the opposite way um, and you get used to picking these up and adjusting them without thinking about it and if you've got a mix of chrome and the black ones it, you can get very you would find you're adjusting it the wrong way um, if you know what I mean um, then we've got a couple of um, backhoe um, an 8 and a 6 and these are the uh, extra wide jaw um, ones as you can see compared to the uh, brittle 8 inch one, it goes a lot wider, in fact this is nearly, well it's wider, it's wider than the 12 inch. So that's handy, it's quite a handy thing to have if you do a lot of fridge work for valve caps and um, all, all sorts of things that don't need to be very tight, um, but you need to be able to get on them and also it's because it's short, you've um, got access where you might not have with a bigger size one, well, that one is the 6 inch one. And that will go as wide as the uh, standard 12 inch one. So, so that's that. Oh, and this is an old monkey wrench. Uh, made by Shelley, I think. Um, it's got a bit of a bend in it. It's always had that. And um, this, I believe, belonged to my granddad on my mother's side, who I never met. He died in the um, 40s, I think. I think he got leukemia. Um, they put it down to the stress of the war. Um, it was either that or it was um, my grandmother's, but uh, I'm not too sure how how uh, old this dates back. This is British make on there, but that's, that's that's the sort of connection I've got to that side of the family. Anyway, that's one of my. F it's not I don't use it that often, but it's you know. It's a nice thing to have. Um, then we've got a 13 brittle again, 13 and 17 mil. Um, with a brittle, half inch, nine sixteenths. Um, this is a company called Williams Super Slim. Just say you've got one special offer in the tool shop for like 50p or something. I think they're on stock clearance, and that's half inch and seven sixteenths. So I bought that just to, you know. Um, that's a flare nut wrench. That's five eighths. Three quarters, made by Hazard, which is German, I think. Brittle again. Um, Whitworth, this one is uh, five eighths, five, three eighths, five sixteenths. I'm not really impressed with this because the chrome's all coming off of it. Um, what can you do? Brittle, half inch, nine sixteenths. Brittle, seven sixteenths, half inch. Um, Palmyra, I think that is Spain. Half inch and nine sixteenths. That's got more of an offset on it than the uh, brittle one, and it's longer. And another one again, which is five eighths and eleven sixteenths. Um, I've got a little needle file, fine. A draper, seventeen mil, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. I've lost the ten mil. I've ended up with a Halfords. Professional range one. That's despite my dislike for Halfords um, on principle. Um, I can't fault that. That's been pretty good. And I've got a a C spanner. That uh, some of the old press cold compressors used to have a valve cap. You needed one of these to undo. That's uh, made by Brittle again. Uh, Three eighths ratchet Brittle. A um, couple of extension bars. That one's an impact one. I've got a cheap impact set made by Sealy, and then um, it's in the van. But I keep a few uh, sockets in the toolbox. I've got a 10, 11, 13, 17. It's a deep 13 mil. I think that's made by Hilti. Um, it's a deep 17, which we had 
machine so it fit inside Unistrut. Um, and that's, I don't know what that is, 10mm, that should be in the box, it should really be here. And then we've got uh, some adapters, half inch to three eighths, half inch to three eighths, one of them should be in the box in the van. Then we've got three eighths to half inch, three eighths to quarter, um, that goes on the impact driver, three eighths drive, no, you can put a hex screwdriver bit in there, that's made by um, Koken, K-O-K-E-N, it's Japanese. Um, got a bottle key for the oxycetylene and nitrogen, centre punch, um, draper chisel, pin punches, there's about 10 mil, 5 and I think that's a 6, we've got a 10 and 11 mil ratchet ring spanner, it's made by Draper, a couple of fridge ratchets. So that's it for the uh, for the bottom drawer. We've got um, another socket by here, it's got a 15 mil brittle socket on it, but this is a wobble drive, which I always thought was a bit um, gimmicky until I saw one being used, and it's um, get you out of trouble really. It's a handy thing to have. Well, I got that set. I think it's made by. Uh, doesn't say. I think it was made by Laser or someone, somebody like that. Or so it might have been Silverline, but it was a cheap set I got in the. Um, Um, scrapyard, they've got a tool shop next to the scrapyard at Haynes of Cello, if you know it. They do a lot of reclaimed building stuff as well, um, so that's a handy thing that lives in the top. I'll get the words put back in. Oh, before I forget, I've got this, which is um, it's a thread chaser that'll do um, quarter inch. Flares, I think that'll do 3 16 for cars. I think one's smaller. And then you've got a um, shredder core and doer and a thread chaser. So if you get one where you've got like a valve cap's rusty or something, you can run this down the threads and um, clean it up. I got that from HRP. And that's uh, one of the little favourite tools, they don't make these anymore. That's made by Brittle again. That's quarter inch and that's 3 16 And that'll fit on the um, some of the old um, expansion valves for adjusting them. That'll fit on your service valve or um, the um, well, the Alco pressure switches when you've got to adjust them on the top. It's quite easy to see when you've gone, or even on the valves, you can see you've gone half a turn with it. So, uh, Brittle R1, I think the model is for that. R1, yep. Let's stop making that, which is a shame. Um, oh, we didn't do this either. Um, Imperial Eastman, I think my neighbour gave me this one. It's a pinch off tool for a quarter, half, and three eighths. So you can um, pinch a pipe shut, work on it, and then round it back off again. Now oh, it does work surprisingly well as long as you're working on soft copper and not hard one. Um, right, that's the stuff that mostly lives in the drawer, not the um, Allen keys in there and things. It's my other mirror, the end's uh, fallen off. It died to death the other day. It was um, on the top of the toolbox and I shut the lid on it and uh, cut the mirror off. And I have hopes of uh, soldering it back on again because it's made out of brass. But anyway, um, got some nut spinners which go from nut drivers, 10mm. Um, 8mm, 7 and 6, which is our most common sizes. 7mm um, is mostly um, little shady pole motors and uh, Jubilee clips like hose clamps. 6mm is hose clamps. 8mm is some electrical terminals and 10mm is just a good general size for used on M6 um, bolts and things. So, right, we've got some wire cutters with some yellow paint on again. Uh, some uh, slip joint pliers, brittle, um, some ratchet crimpers, for the uh, uh, red, blue, and yellow crimps. Which, once you've used these, you wouldn't go back to the um, other ones. I've got an adjustment on there for tension as it wears. I've only had to adjust that once in about 15 years. Um, some pliers. 
which I got cheap, made by uh, Q K E W, and they have the date of manufacture on there, which is 9512, and they've got a five-year warranty from that date. And I've, these have been in the shop. And the handles have faded a bit in the in the sun, um, so I bought them cheap because they they were nearly in the end of the warranty. Um, these are Draper, but I think they're made by Nipex. Yeah, Nipex. Draper sort of badges a lot of stuff up. Um, it's a scriber, which is worth having. Just for, you know, if you're marking it on a piece of metal or something. Um, wire strippers, cutters. I'm looking to change these. I've had these about um, 15, 20 years, um, and they're getting a bit blunt. I have sharpened them with the um, diamond um, uh, file once. Um, I think they're due retirement. Um, small wire cutters. Uh, Stanley knife, as we would call it, although this one's made by Draper. I've got a bright coloured one because they always go missing. Uh, that's a terminal screwdriver. It's um, it's a mix. Um, if that's going to pick that up, I don't know. Between um, a pulsy drive and a flat, which is what you see on a lot of uh, electrical terminals now, so that'll actually drive them a lot better than either one. Um, a file, which is always worth having. I've glued that in there because it kept coming out. It's got arrow tight in there. Made by. Hindustan or Hindustani or something. I've had that for years. Um, insulated screwdrivers, brittle again these ones. Um, flat, Phillips, flat, flat, flat. Phillips, um, this one I think is made by Weira or something like that. It's either Weira or that other one that's W-I-H-A-E. And this takes the um, quarter inch bits in there. So, uh, it's got a hex bit in there because that was lying around in the top of the toolbox. Um, I've got this kind of a nut spinner, 3 8 socket. Um, that takes the um, hex bits as well. Um, I'm a great believer in having two ways to do anything, so if this went missing, I'd be able to do the same job with that one, for example. Um, that gets you out of trouble if you've lent something to somebody or if you broke it or it's been stolen or something. Um, an old toothbrush, always handy to have for uh, uh, cleaning. Uh, flat screwdriver, a flat one that's made by Facom. Um, number two, posi drive. Number two, posi drive again, that's brittle. Number one, Phillips. Got some stubby ones. Uh, Phillips number one, posi drive number one, Phillips number two, posi drive number two, different coloured handles. And if you can see the difference on the end of that, that's just a star. But on the, um, that's Phillips, on the um, posi drive, it's got that extra little line that comes down. And if you look at the screws, they'll have that as well. We've got a couple of flats, and then we've got another posi drive one. Because um, that went missing for a couple of weeks until I bought that and then it turned up again. And I've got a deburrer. Um, some little uh, open ended spanners from 4mm or 3.24, 5, 5.5. Five oh, what's that? Something BA. Uh, 5 16ths, 11.12s, 11.32s rather. 6. Mill, quarter inch, seven mil, eight mil, two ba. Uh, this one's seven mil. This is a nice little speller made by Facom. And uh, that's got a ratchet in the end with a little lever to reverse. That's ideal for doing them little tiny motors. Um, this is an offset driver. Takes the quarter inch bits and the five sixteenths bits. Uh, made by Brittle. So if you've got a screw, you, you you've got to get in somewhere. You can get in there and ratchet and undo it, undo it up. Um, it's another nice little spanner made by Facom, um, which is 10 mil on that end, 12 on that, and if you turn it over, it's 8 mil and 13 mil. 
And they do a bigger one that does a sort of um, 14, 15 and 16 and 17 or something like that. Or maybe 17 and 19 mil, but I don't keep that in the, in the toolbox that's in the van somewhere. And then we've got some screwdriver bit sockets, um, which are the bigger sizes. So th number three posi, number four probably, number four Phillips, some hex Allen key shaped ones. Um, some sockets I got cheap because I saw them on eBay. Six, seven, eight mil. Which, like, if my nut drivers weren't missing, I could use this handle and them sockets to do the same job. Um, that's just some old screwdriver bits that have been floating around. And I think that's it for, for the wall, apart from all the old um, Allen keys I've got in there. Which are just in there for somewhere to go really. I've got some sets but these are just all the old ones I've got on their own. Right that's uh, most of the tools out the top of the rest of this is just um, um, nuts and bolts and plastic caps off of bits of pipe and uh, caps off of bottles and adapters, um, nuts and bolts, bits of wire filters out of water for um, solenoids. Uh, uh, I think I took a battery to bits when I was bored and left the bits of metal in there. You get the idea. Things you don't want to chuck away because they'll come in useful. Alright, so we've got a couple of toothbrushes, um, some spare blades, a uh, Stanley knife. Um, then we've got pipe cutters, we've got a big imp, which we've had for a few years. Um, small imp, or just an imp, not sure what they call that one. Little imp. Um, I don't tend to use that one much because it tends to cut spirals. But I've uh, got that one anyway. I've got that little Rothenberger one which went missing. So I bought a replacement and uh, it turned out I bought the wrong one. And then this one turned up, so that's handy because that only does up to five eighths, and this will do seven eighths. Uh, I think it's quarter to seven eighths, quarter. Yeah, this one I don't think will cut quarter. I think it will only do three eighths. Yeah, but they're, they're handy. Um, got some Torx keys, Torx T20, maybe a fifteen and a ten. That key we saw in my tool bag video. Um, tap for those uh, line tap valves, Wattsco line tap valves. Um, I've got an adapter, that probably ought to be in the other box. So that go from, um, I think that's half inch up to three quarters. Um, I've got a set that went from quarter inch all the way up to inch, and then from inch all the way back down to quarter again. Um, impact rated for about 20 quid from the tool shop. Um, that's why I've got various adapters. Um, line about, uh, marker pen, uh, pencil, this is a handy little thing to have, that's a diamond sharpening uh, stone, it's a different grade on either side so you can put an edge back on something with that. And we've got some gas tape, PTFE tape, some Teflon tape, it's just thicker than the standard stuff back down so many times. Uh, got a half inch to um, 16 mil, I think 16 mil wide, that's 5 eighths. Uh, slotted screwdriver bit for, uh, it's made by Jeddo again in Germany. 19, that might be 19 mil then. No, it's 16 by 2.5, there we go. And got a 15 mil socket. Which I've got for these cheap um, Chinese um, fixings we get now with some things where they, they've copied um, the normal ones which you'd expect to be either 13mm or 17mm and they, they've got their own weird nut sizes so that's all that's for. That's a wobble drive extension, you can see the shape on the end. That allows it when it's in there to... Um, if you push it right in it's quite solid like a standard extension but if you pull it a bit it allows it to wobble and that can be just enough to get you um, past something 
or with the three of them all connected together, you can get quite an arc um, to get around something. Um, 15 sixteenths by inch, open ended, brittle again. That's for doing um, um, power elements on spool and valves. Um, cable wire stripper. You pull that open, put a cable through there. That's got a blade in there, and you just spin it round <coughs> a couple of times, and then uh, you can pull the flex off the outside of a what we call cable. Um, always got some abrasive strip in the top of the toolbox, and some of this abrasive mat is handy as well because that's um, less harsh than that stuff. Um, a tin of adapters. Tees and various things. Um, I think that's three sixteenths to quarter. That'll fit on some of the old car aircon. Um, I've got a load of these quick couplers. The O rings tend to go in them, and although they do list a spare part of the O ring kit, so I've not yet found the wholesale that has them on the shelf, so I end up buying a new fitting. So I've got loads of the bloody things in there. Um, it's a 90 degree L, both a quarter inch. I bought this cheap in a set, 15 quid for about five different things, and it f it's just fell off. So it's been silver soldered back together. Um, it's frightening when you think about the pressure you could have added behind that when it came off. But anyway, um, that's a 5 16 to quarter inch adapter. Um, that would get you onto some of the like mini split 410A stuff. I've, I've got proper hoses, but again, that that all from my gauges I've left them somewhere or something. That's a get me out of trouble fitting. Uh, quick couplers. I've got the angled and straight quarter inch, and um, and in five sixteenths again for the uh, 410A stuff. And um, Schrader core removal tool, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Um, this one's getting a bit tired now, it leaks a bit, so I might have to... I've got some seals with it. But I think it's leaking on the tap, so I might have to uh, invest in a new one. I might give it a wash out first, I might have some crap in there. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, tends to get stickers put on there if I've peeled one off from somewhere. Kind of amuses me. See how many stickers I can get put on there. Um, so that's it, really.